Hi everybody, Erin here from Grounded Warrior. Thanks for joining me for today's strength workout. As always, all you need today is a pair of heavy and or medium weights. We're gonna get right into it, so let's go. We're going to start with some wide butt kickers. You're gonna have your feet wide, toes pointed forward, pull back, squeeze the elbows towards each other, and bend the knees and lift. Lift, good. So we're warming up the body, using this time to mentally prepare for our workout. You wanna do your best and be effective and strong as you work out today. So at the end of the workout, you feel so strong and confident and balanced. All right, one more each side and slow jumping jacks. Tap it out and reach, tap it out. And maybe arms forward and out, keep it going. All right, our workout today incorporates nine exercises. We're doing them for 45 seconds on and resting for 15 seconds. Let's do one more to each side and rest. Grab your weights for the first exercise. We're starting with a slow knee lift and an overhead press. You're gonna have your elbows wrapped in, hands right here. You're going to lift your knee and press the arms up and slowly lower. Lift and press. We are combining strength and balance. Remember, you can always go down in weight or if it's way too much for your shoulders, you can also don't use weights at all. Finally, the other option is to take out the balance. But I want you to work hard here. This is waking up your glutes, your hips, and your hamstrings. All right, 15 more seconds. Keep those elbows wrapped in. Lift and press. Switch, lift and press. Let's do one more. Each side, you got it. And 15 second rest. You might as well keep those weights as we're going to use them for the next exercise. We're gonna do a side lunge with a chest press. I like to stand in the middle of my mat for this one. You're gonna step out for a side lunge, toes and knee pointed forward. Step in, lift, press, and down. Side lunge, lift, press, and down. Keep going, alternating. So I want you to give as much attention to the arms as you do to those legs. Don't skimp on any of these moves. Work your hardest. Lift and press. Notice when I press forward, I'm pressing through my knuckles, keeping my shoulders down. Sit low, lift and press one more. And press and hold 15 second rest. Slowly heel tap and breathe. Our next exercise is incorporating yoga. We're gonna be doing a warrior three with a row. All right. For this exercise, you're going to lean forward. You're going to lift that right leg behind you. This is warrior three. If it's too much, bring your foot down, warrior one. You're going to turn your palms towards each other, row the arms back and lower. And keep going, trying not to fall over. Breathing here. Feel that left leg working. The right foot is flexed. Slowly squeeze the elbows back and lower the hands down. You've got this. Let's go for about 15 more seconds. Breathe the whole time. Maybe lift the leg a little bit higher. If you wobble, that's okay. It means you're trying your best. Let's go for five more. Four, three, whoop, <laughs> two, one more. Oh, and rest. All right, for our next exercise, and don't worry, I didn't forget the other leg. We're going to be going into a deadlift with an upright row. Make sure your toes are pointed forward. Roll your shoulders back. You're going to lean forward. Keep your knees slightly bent. Lift up and row. 
So imagine you're pulling elastics up and towards the sky. Lean forward, keep your spine long. And lift up and row. All right. We have about 20 more seconds. When you do this deadlift, I want you to imagine you're slowly lowering a bag to the ground, lifting it up, and then bring those elbows in line with shoulders. Okay, I think we can get one more in. Smooth and steady. And rest. Nice job. Those aren't easy, especially if you're doing them right. If anything ever hurts, stop doing it. Reset and refocus. Our next exercise, we're gonna go right into it, is warrior three with a wide armed row this time. So you're going to extend your left leg back. All right, your palms are this time facing your right knee. You're going to row the arms out wide and slowly lower down. Focus on one spot on the ground so that you have a drishti. That's something to help keep you steady. Remember, you can always put that back foot down and do the same thing in a warrior one pose. You've got this, keep going. You have 15 more seconds, let's go for five more. Whoop, <laughs> reset if you need to, four, three, two, one more, your best yet, and rest. Ooh, you should probably feel that in your hip if you were doing it right. I know we've been holding these weights for a while. We've got more to do. Our next exercise is a standing twist. Good news, you only need one weight for that. So standing up tall. You're bringing the weight forward. We are going to twist and pivot. So notice that when I twist to the left, I'm nearing you. My right foot pivots to the side so that the, I feel this core engagement. All right, keep it going. Try not to let those hands drop. Keep them in line with the shoulders. Try to slide the shoulder blades down your back and twist and twist. Keep it going, we're almost there. You have less than 15 seconds to go. Those arms, I bet, are getting tired. That's a good sign, it means you're working. We have six more seconds. You can do it. One more each side. Don't give up. Whew, and rest. Hopefully that got your heart rate up a little bit and twisted out your back. Okay, our next exercise, we're actually gonna come down onto our back and you need both weights. All right, everybody. You're going to have your back flat, feet flat. You're going to lift the arms up. All right, this is the hard part. Wrap your elbows in so the eye hole of the elbow points towards the front of the mat. You're going to bend the elbows, keeping them right where they are, bringing the weights towards the temples and pressing up. You're bending and pressing and you're gonna keep going here. Now try not to move the arms other than the bend and the press. So try not to swing them, control the movement. Breathe into your body. You can do this. Triceps are little tiny muscles at the back of the arm and they have to be worked to get strong. So focus here. We're almost there, you have 10 more seconds. Let's go for three, two, last one, and rest. Move your weights to the side. You don't need them for our last exercise. Come all the way up and around into a tabletop. This last exercise is what's called plank around the world. I'll show you. Come into a plank pose to begin. Your first option is to stay here. Your second option is to lift your right foot, place it down, lift your left, place it down, lift your left hand, down, right hand, down. Let's do that again. Right foot, left foot, left hand. 
right hand. Oh yeah, right foot, left foot, left hand, right hand. Let's go in the opposite, left hand, left foot, right foot, right hand. Two more, left hand, left foot, right foot, right hand. One more, left hand, left foot, right foot, right hand, and rest. Ooh. <laughs> Come all the way up. Take some big shoulder circles. <sighs> and relax. Take a deep breath in. Give a big breath out. That is our strength workout for today. Nine exercises plus your warm up equals a strong and confident you. So let us know how you did. Use Grounded Warrior, hashtag, hashtag Grounded Warrior, to check in with us. And if you want to do this workout one, two, or three more times, whatever is right for you and your body. Thanks and have a great day.